Here's a quick look at my portable Mercedes V12 coil pack tester. Basically it consists of a control unit. We have a connector that will plug into the voltage transformer which sits top center on the engine. We have our 12 volt and ground connector which will connect to the battery. And the other connector will connect to the coil pack to be tested. A little bit of a closer look at the control box. We're able to turn power off and on, control circuits A and B. We have a discharge switch, a high voltage output voltmeter, and also the six circuits to be tested. Here's a quick breakdown and demonstration of the portable coil pack tester, again in its development stages. Um, Looking at the piece of paper in front of us, we can see the left and right hand side coil packs numbered 1 through 6 and 7 through 12. And down the center you'll see the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Those are the numbers that correspond on the tester. And then if you'll look also in each cylinder number you'll see an A and a B indicated, which the two plugs going to let's say cylinder number 1, cylinder number 1, 1 A and B. When we run our tests, we continue to use number one as a reference, forgetting about number seven. So one, plug A, the first plug, B, the second plug, on number one. So this correlates here. We have an A and B switch. The switch between the two plugs. Here's a coil pack plugged in. Coil computer plugged in. And this would be starting at the front where the connector is. This would be number one cylinder. A, number one cylinder B, then number two cylinder A, number two cylinder B. So by switching A to B, we can test both firing sequences of the spark plugs for each cylinder. So we'll turn the unit on, and our voltage indicator, high voltage indicator, indicates that our power is on. We don't have any shorts. The coil pack is energized. And now Switching to A circuit, when I press number one, we will fire number one spark plug in the coil pack. So we've got some used spark plugs in here for this demonstration. This will be, now we'll fire number one. And then switching the switch to B, we would push number one again, and we will get the second plug firing in that cylinder. So going to number two, we will see the second plug in number two firing, and by switching the circuit back to A, the first spark plug in number two will fire now by pushing number one, or number two, excuse me. There it is. So in the prototype model, we have also a discharge feature. Once we've powered down, we can rapidly discharge the high voltage by switching this over and therewith very quickly we can unplug and plug in the next, the next uh, unit to be tested.